News to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us here on KIMT News 3. And uh, some big news in the golf world, the local golf scene. I don't want to spoil it for Mary if she's going to mention it in sports, but I just saw, I follow Anders Larson on social media. And the John Deere Classic is this weekend. I'll leave it at that. We'll have more information in just a bit. Let's get to the right, weather, though. All right, looking okay. forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, talk about weather and stuff. Uh, we got some uh, decent weather as we look ahead to Wednesday. If you want to get out there and golf, not going to be happening here tomorrow. We got more rain in the forecast as we're talking about some showers and storms that could bring us some heavier rainfall as the excessive rainfall outlook puts us in a slight risk for potential flash flooding here tonight into tomorrow morning as we got showers and storms rolling in. And most of that's going to happen after about 10 p.m. and really after about midnight for much of North Iowa and Southeast Minnesota. Right now, though, we got a little bit of light rain making its way through. Nothing uh, too uh, uh, problematic, I guess, for this evening. Uh, a little bit of light rain across North Iowa, a little bit stretching into southern Minnesota. It's been moving through Charles City here in the last uh, 20 to 30 minutes. We had it moving through Mason City, still getting a couple sprinkles, and now into Osage and a little bit more moderate rain just west of town. Going to see that moving in here in the next 5 to 10 minutes. And a bit more of around Lake Mills, just north of Forest City now. This is all building to the north and east. And again, it is light in nature here for now, but what we're tracking is more storms to the west. We have this light rain across North Iowa and southern Minnesota, but this complex of showers and storms there in Nebraska and also more into South Dakota, all of that is heading our way for tonight and tomorrow. That means we are talking about once again heavy rainfall, which of course we don't need. We've already had so much in the last couple of weeks, so any more is just going to run off into the creeks and the rivers and those river levels are going to go start to rise, but also that potential for some street flooding as we see torrential rainfall. What we're also looking at is a low end potential for a couple stronger storms. Really the main risk is going to be that heavy rainfall and just possible flash flooding here tonight and tomorrow. Severe weather threat mostly to our south. We will have to watch parts of North Iowa for any stronger storms that may try to build in as we go through tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. But let's time this out on SkyTracker 3 for tonight and tomorrow. Looking at showers and storms building in again, mostly here around 11 p.m. So a lot of this is going to be after midnight for North Iowa and Southeast Minnesota. But notice some of the reds. That's heavy rainfall and a lot of thunder and lightning as well. That's going to clear out and then we'll see some dry conditions for a time tomorrow. But yes, more showers and storms are expected here for tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. So all of that is leading to some very heavy rainfall. So this is a look at potential rainfall amounts. This is from one computer model. We're talking about rainfall amounts one to three inches across the area. Another computer model showing a little bit higher amounts. So we are watching this very closely here for tonight and tomorrow again for that potential of additional flooding. We'll get some nicer weather here for Wednesday before we're tracking more showers and storms in the forecast for Thursday and Friday.